welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Ingenious Fit Network Management Controller. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So here's the controller there. Here we have a screw guide for mounting it. And then in the bottom here, we have the anchors and screws and they're in this foam. And in the middle we have this card it has quick start and product info. So it has QR codes for those. So let's look at this. So if we turn this over, we have the keyhole slots for mounting on the bottom. Behind this, we have a QR code. On the end, we have two LAN ports. This is powered by power over ethernet. So you plug this into a PoE switch and then it can pass through LAN so you don't lose one of your ports. On the opposite side, we have a micro SD card slot. That's probably for backup. We have a little hole for reset. We have a place to plug in a 12 volt power source. So if you're not using PoE, you can use 12 volt adapter. And then we have an indicator light. So a controller like this is used to manage your network. So you can connect up switches and Wi-Fi access points to this and manage them. So Ingenious has a number of different products. With the Fit, you can do cloud management. This is a way to bring the management in-house if you want to do management on site. So let me get the other hardware out and I'll show you how this all fits together. Okay, so I have my equipment here for testing and all three of these were provided to me by the distributor. So I'm going to start by hooking this all up. I'll plug PoE from the controller to the switch, and then I will plug from the switch into the access point. So now I'll plug this into power. I'm going to connect this up to my computer, so I'll plug that in here. And now I'll head over to my computer and get this configured. Okay, so we're on my computer now. And there are two different ways you can connect to the FIT controller. One is to set the static IP on your computer in the network 192.168.1. And then you would go to your web browser and you'd go to http colon slash slash 192.168.1.250 colon 8080. I'm connecting to this using the other method, which is to use DHCP. You plug the FIT controller into your network and let DHCP assign it an address. And then you want to go into your router and look at the DHCP lease table or use a network scanner and find out the IP address of the FIT controller. And that will be different for everyone's hardware, but for mine it said 192.168.7.79. So I put that in my web browser and then put colon 88 for the port after it. And here we have the FIT controller sign-in page. So this is brand new, so I'll hit sign up and I'll enter my information in here. Okay, so now we're in the interface, and this looks very familiar to the Ingenious Cloud software, but this is hosted on the controller. So now I want to add the switch and access point. So I'll go down to the building in the bottom left, and I'll go to inventory. I'll say register device. Now it's showing the switch here, so I'll just check it. Otherwise, you can go to manually and enter in the serial number. So I'll hit register. It says success. I'll check done. So here I have the switch. I'll check that, and I'll say assign to network, and then I'll choose my network here, and I'll hit apply. Now I'll go to register device again. This time I'll go to manually. I'll enter in the serial number from the access point. I'll hit register. I'll say done. I'll check that. I'll say assign to network. And I'll hit apply. So now we have two devices on our network. I'll go up to the monitor on the left here. And I'll go to dashboard. And here we see we have a switch and an access point. So these are currently provisioning. So I'll come back in a few minutes and we should see these online. Okay, the switch and the access point are online now. So let's take a quick look at the interface here. I'm not going to go over everything, but we have this hexagon here that gives you an overview of your network. Now I just set this up and it's not really filled out in the client ratio area here. So as you add more clients, this would fill in. And then on the left here, we have your switches, access points, and clients. And if we click on these, it'll go to the different areas. And then we have some stats down below here. Then under manage, we have our access points, our switches, topology, and our clients. Now if we go to settings, we have SSID. We also have radio settings. Now under here, we can change things like the channel width, transmit power, minimum bit rate. This has two sections, one for indoor, one for outdoor. So if you have outdoor Wi-Fi access points, those will be configured here on the right. Then we have our FitCon users, firmware upgrade. This is currently set up to automatically upgrade the firmware on Sunday at 2 a.m. Then we have alert settings. Those are for the access point and the switch. We have VLAN settings. These are switch settings. General settings. So this is where you're going to set up your country, your time zone. You can have local credentials. This allows you to log into the individual components. Then we have settings for the access point and switch. You can see you can turn the LED light on and off here. And you can also set up a syslog server. This here will set up a message for blocked users on the access point. 
and then we have access control. We have the block list and the VIP list. Below that, we have the event log, and then down below that, we have the team members. So this is the account I logged in with. And then lastly, we have the system. We have inventory, system information. This is going to tell us about our controller here, the CPU, memory, and disk. We scroll down, we can see the IP address here. This is the IP address the DHCP assigned to it. So we can change this if we want. And then we have system time. Next we have email alerts. So this is where you would set up your SMTP server to receive email alerts. And then we have backup and restore so you can back up the configuration. So that's a basic setup and overview of an Ingenious Fit controller. So this controller can manage up to 100 switches and access points. I think that's total between the two, but I'm not 100% sure. So the fit is targeted towards small businesses and small organizations. So this might be a small hotel, coffee shop, restaurant, small business. So this product is good for people who want centralized network management, but want to control it on their own terms, or maybe they need it on their own network for compliance reasons. So typically you might put your fit controller in your network closet with your network switches, and then you would run your access points out to their locations using ethernet with power over ethernet so a system like this would be easy to expand you could hook lots of access points in here and then if you added another switch you can connect them together with the sfp ports so you could connect the ports with fiber so if you had multiple buildings you could run fiber between the buildings and connect them into these ports so you could have long runs with that so i found this very easy to set up and it's also very similar to the ingenious cloud product which is the more robust offering. But if you don't need the features in the Ingenious Cloud and you want local control, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.